Okay, to start off this video, I'm just going to take you through some of the food items that I bought in the supermarket today. So this is only a selection of some of the foods that I eat. This isn't everything. So I'm going to start off with the carbohydrate sources. So first up here, I've got some sweet potatoes. So what I do with these is I'll cook them up in bulk, then I'll just leave them in the fridge so I've got easy access, nice and easy source of carbs. After that, we've got some bananas. So I normally aim for one to two pieces of fruit per day, so this is a nice high carb choice. Next up are these chocolate rice cake bars. So I've never had these before, but I saw them today, so I thought I'd pick them up and give them a try. Each bar is only 93 calories, 4.8 grams of fat, and only 11 grams of carbs, with about one gram of protein. So I'll probably have these in the morning on the way to work for breakfast or something like that. Next I've got a few bags of instant couscous. So again I'll probably just take this to work. Really easy to make. All I've got to do is add some hot water. Probably just mix it with some chicken or beef. Next, crumpets. So this again is a really easy source of carbs. Virtually no fat. Not really any protein in these either, it's pretty much straight carbs. So a lot of people might think that crumpets are pretty unhealthy food, but this is where flexible dieting comes into it. So what I do is I track my calories, track my macros, that way I'm able to fit in any of the foods I like, even if it might be a unhealthy food. Although I do like to keep the bulk of my diet filled with whole foods, like fruits, vegetables, potatoes, stuff like that. Next I picked up these egg waffles. So I've never tried these either, thought I'd give them a go. Each waffle is 6.3 grams of fat, only 13 grams of carbs, and 2.1 grams of protein. So I'll probably put some peanut butter on top of these. Yeah, looking forward to trying these out. So something else I picked up today was some cookie crisp cereal. So at the moment I'm bulking. So my carbohydrates are pretty high. Cereal is a really easy, quick source of carbs. Most cereals are pretty low in fat as well. So I've got some skimmed milk to go with that. Cow's milk is good because it contains protein as well as carbohydrates, and this one contains zero fat. So if I was cutting and my calories were a little bit lower, I'd probably opt for some almond milk. Almond milk is a lot lower in calories, but because I'm bulking, I can afford to fit this into my diet. Now I'm going to move on to the protein sources. First off, I picked up some beef meatballs. So I'll probably cook these up, maybe take them to work, um, mix them with some pasta or rice, throw some vegetables in there too. After that, I've got some lean beef mints. So I recommend to anyone who's looking to buy mints in the supermarket, go for the 5% fat option going to save a lot of calories in the long run. Generally a typical packet of mints in the supermarket is going to be about 20% fat and that's going to rack up your calories pretty fast. So 5% option is going to be your best bet. Next protein source we've got some turkey mints. So same principle goes with this as the beef mints. This one's 7% fat so it's a little bit higher in fat. So here I also just picked up some seasoning, this is just an American barbecue flavour. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be adding seasonings to your food. Everyone wants their food to taste nice. Seasonings don't contain any calories, so why not just throw it in there for some extra flavour. Finally I'm going to move on to the fat sources. So first one here, I've got some peanut butter. So peanut butter contains peanuts. Peanuts are a healthy source of fat. So what I'll do with this is I'll put it on some toast, maybe throw it on them crumpets or even the waffles. All right, so the final thing I picked up is some new toca. So this is just a chocolate hazelnut spread, pretty much a fake Nutella. So again, this is pretty high in fat. Recently, I've been struggling to hit my fat intake, so I decided to grab some of this. This is pretty easy to fit into my diet when I'm bulking. If I was cutting, maybe I wouldn't be having this. I'm still gonna be weighing it out and making sure it fits into my macros and into my calorie requirements for the day. Just in case you're wondering why I didn't show any vegetables, that's just because I've already got some at home. They're in the freezer. Didn't need to pick any more up today. If I did, I'd probably pick up some broccoli and green beans. 
Okay, so here's everything I got. Come to about 20 pounds. I'll see you in the next clip. Alright, so for this part of the video, I'm just going to give you a little update on my bulk and how things are going and my thoughts on it so far. So my body weight is gradually creeping up. I'm gaining about one to two pounds every month. At the moment, I don't feel super fat or uncomfortable. I've still got a little bit of definition in my arms and shoulders. So I actually started my bulk about nine months ago, minus one month for a mini cut. Let's call it eight months total. I'm feeling a lot bigger, fuller, and most importantly, I'm feeling stronger. I've added about 30 kilos to my bench press. Some of my other lifts, such as my front squats and rack pulls, I'm consistently adding weight to the bar each week, which is really good. I'm going into each session with a mentality to get stronger, either by adding weight or reps every single session. I want to put these extra calories to use and make the most out of being in this calorie surplus. So I feel like my legs have definitely grown, especially in my quads. I've also seen some development in my back. So one other body part I'm really happy with is my abs. I've been hammering my abs about three times a week as this is a part I really want to bring up. I want to try and grow my abs as much as I can now so that when I cut back down, they're thick, developed and shredded. So at the moment, I'm the heaviest I've ever been in my life and I can still slightly see my abs. I've been lighter than this in the past and they've been hidden, I haven't been able to see them. So that's got to be a good sign. With regards to my diet, I'm currently taking in just under 3000 calories a day. So I'm not struggling at all with hunger. It's really easy to manage. Cravings are gone. I can literally fit anything I want into my diet. Cupcakes, waffles, donuts, you name it. So I'm comfortably hitting my macros every single day. One thing I've actually noticed is the enjoyment of food has actually gone down quite a bit. I find food doesn't taste as good as it used to. Probably just due to me taking in more calories and the freedom to eat more foods. Never thought that would happen to me. Anyone that knows me know how much I love my food. Overall, to sum it up, things are going really well. I'm going to post another video soon going in more depth about my training. But for now, I'm going to end off the video there. Sorry I haven't got any training footage for this video, but there'll be plenty of that coming soon. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Click the like button underneath the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Final thing I picked up today is some new toca. Final thing. So the final thing I picked up today was some new toca. So this is pretty much a fake Nutella. <laughs> Shut up! New toca, fucking good stuff.